Hey guys, welcome back. This recipe is such a treat for the eyes and the taste buds. Beetroot rice, an easy, nutritious one pot meal with the sweetness of the beetroot coming through in the spice rice. The lovely pink color is great for kids and adults alike. You can always pork it up with any of the vegetables that you fancy. My family enjoys this with simple cumin cucumber yogurt. So let's get cooking. We begin making the beetroot fried rice by first chopping up our vegetables. The first thing is the clove of garlic. Uh, crush the clove of garlic with your knife and then slice it and chop it till it's very fine. You don't want it large pieces, just to make it do very fine pieces of garlic. Then goes in our green chili. Now I've taken one green chili. These are quite spicy, so I'm going to just slice them in long fashion. Uh, if you don't like chili, you can entirely skip it or if you still like the chili but not too spicy, you can take out the white pips or the seeds because that has the spongency and the spiciness. Then slice in the red onions. The red onions have a better flavor, they are stronger in flavor, they also hold shape well, they also give a very nice color. Uh, so try and use the red ones and don't use the white ones at all. The white ones are more watery and they take longer to cook. For herbs, I like to use uh, fresh coriander leaves. I think fresh coriander leaves with the beetroot uh, and the garlic really works quite well. But there's nothing stopping you if you want to use, say, a parsley or if you have any lemon thyme or you want to use tarragon, even that would work well. Then I'm going to chop up the beetroot. I basically boil the beetroot. So these are going to be sliced and then uh, chopped up or rather diced up into one centimeter cubes. Uh, try and use the cooked beetroots is better than using a raw ones because it will just save you some time and also the color is better when you actually blanch or you boil the beetroot first so when you toss them with the spices and with the onions and the rice it imparts a very nice color to the dish now it is also important that when you're actually going to cook the rice you use the right pan so use a flayed pan or a saute pan where it is wide and the sides are slightly raised higher add vegetable oil you can use canola oil you can use olive oil your choice and once the oil is on a medium heat add in the mustard seeds uh, don't add into very hot oil because the mustard seeds begin to pop and crackle straight away and they splutter everywhere so on a medium heat splutter the mustard seeds and as they're spluttering add in the chopped garlic the sliced green chili now if you like it spicier you can actually add more green chili or you can even add the dried red chilies here even they work well if you want to use fresh red chilies even that is perfectly fine lightly saute the vegetables into the oil you don't need to color it right now if you color the vegetables then it will impart its color into the rice dish and it'll discolor it and make it more brownish and you want it to be nice and pink at the end because of the beetroot then goes in the sliced red onion same thing again lightly saute them to release the flavors into the oil and then goes in the curry leaf now curry leaves are very fragrant and when you toss them with the oil and with the spices they impart a very nice aroma and a flavor to the dish then goes in our dices of beetroot and a little salt now when you're actually sorting the beetroot into the spices and with the onions it begins to ooze out its uh, natural colors so it releases the colors also the salt helps it to release the flavors and the colors into the the spice mixtures so what you will get is a slightly pink color already being oozed out and the water being oozed out. Then goes in our steamed rice or the boiled rice. The best rice to use for this is a rice which is one day pre-cooked. So you cook your rice one day advance and you cool it down. Never use fresh hot rice in that case. It's because when you use hot rice it tends to break very fast. So always one day old rice is better. A generous squeeze of lemon juice or lime juice. The, the citric flavors of the lemon works extremely well with the earthiness of the beetroot. The minerality, the flavors come out very well. And as you toss the rice with the beetroot, you realize that all the color of the beetroot is then imparted or absorbed by the white rice or the steamed rice. And what you get is a wonderful baby pink color kind of a rice, which is so pleasing for the eye. It is so uh, appetizing to look at food, which is so colorful. Once the rice has been tossed with the beetroot, goes in the fresh coriander leaves. Gently fold it together, switch off the heat. And that's important. Once you add the herbs, you don't cook it further. And transfer it to a bowl to enjoy. Just make sure you use a fried curry leaves as a garnish and also a sprig of coriander leaf. 
so this is my simple beetroot stir fried rice do enjoy it and let me know on the comments below bon appetit